Hi, and welcome to the new year 2018. We've just launched 6.3 and the most obvious question has been put already. Do we need to reinstall 6.3 or can we migrate from 6.2 to 6.3? Well, actually you have already 6.3. Well, let me explain what I mean by that. Let's first go to our website. And our, the website is archmerch.info and move it to here. So this is our communication website info and you'll have here two articles you can find. So we're talking about this one. So 6.3 has been released and this is the article that accompanies it. And it says, okay, what's new? Well, what new is, what's new is that we have now a really 100% rolling release, meaning there was just one file that was not included in a package and that we had to get rid of that because uh, when we updated, we got an error because this file was on the ISO. So you can burn ISO the files on the ISO directly or you can package them. And it's, of course, uh, more interesting to package them than you can update them later. So now we are with this 6.3.1, uh, we're 100% rolling. So if we delete the conkey.send desktop in 6.2, well, then you have already dealt with that issue. So that's okay. This is something new that we added in version 6.3, not in version 6.2. So if you want to uh, change that and come to the same uh, settings, you type in pacman.conf, double click it, see that you open it with not Atom, but with Sublime Text, since this is a protected part of the system. Sublime Text is more interesting. And make sure that you copy paste the code uh, in here. So you see here, this is uh, the simple code. Well, the simple, the normal uh, uh, repo. And what you, do you need to add? This one. You can get it from here, or you can just say, oh, Eric, the only difference you have here is the word testing. And that's indeed correct. Do not forget to put it on top because Arch uh, Linux is going to look from top to bottom and the one he gets first, he finds first, is the one that he'll uh, install. So it's called repo testing and again here testing. Now go check it out. It's the same as on the website. So you have this Arch Merge Linux repo testing and this does not change the second line and the third line is again with underscore testing. That's it. That's also done already. Um, that's of course only if you want to have uh, the possibility to test these packages. You don't need to do it. It's not obligatory. What else did we install in 6.3? We installed Atom, so sudo pacman Dash s atom, you have it, and snapd is the same. Awesome terminal fonts, uh, just with some dashes in between, and you'll have it too. Let's put this one here. So it's up to you to install all these uh, things yourself. And if you don't want to install it, fine by me. So version 3 of 6.3 will have atom, will have snapd, will have awesome. And then terminal fonts and you just go ahead and install them reinstalling reinstalling and uh, okay there's a strange thing here selling something about the database so let's have a look because we've just changed something you remember the test has now been added and that's why it says this error failed to prepare a transaction could not find database because I did not download it already. I did not do this line. So there you go. Everything is installed or reinstalled in this case. There you go. So that's the way to do it. The Vivaldi Codex FMPEG extra bin, so line four, is one that's coming from Yahoo. So Packer or Yahoo, anything goes for me. Do install that one and then the gtop. I think it's already installed. Yep, it is. So sudo pacman 
minus sg top you have it as well okay and time shift as well target not found meaning if it's if it don't it can't if pacman doesn't find it it means it's from the aur so you packer or your word time shift and then you can install it okay then we remove some things xfce slimlock is one that we removed pacower is one that we removed every value fm pech codex is what we removed so removing a pseudo pacman minus r there is however something to um, be aware this application xfce slimlock is um, actually for the super l version like this um, but you must be aware that if you click if you change it you have to change it in xfc nowhere else in xfc properties commands and put in here not xf lock 4 but replace it with slim lock and then everything will be just fine and for the rest you're uh, rolling so we have slim lock 15 themes you can have them it's just a matter of installing it following the article it's all going to be installed and then it's up to you to change that and it's all explained in the articles there's one nice conky coming from whim and so on and variety that's something maybe you should take a look at if you say hey yeah variety didn't change the wallpaper when i changed the desktop of it did change it that's it that was the issue it did change it so it will keep now um, the desktop when you change it so this variety configuration is in the etc scale so do check out these articles because they all point and explain the same things that in the file system we have etc we have scale and in here you'll find actually our first installation the, the settings of our clean installation of an iso so this is 6.3 these are the settings from 6.3 always or 6.4 or 6.5 and so on so we'll update these things atc scale and you will find a lot of things in here you will find the config the conkeys in here i3 settings in here and we're talking about variety settings in here open box settings in here the open menu generator so a lot of information that's, that's important that's core of your system is in the etc scale so if you see something pop up telling you hey you should copy paste something over then that's that's where this this is where it starts this is where we update all the information regarding your own personal configuration because all these files are actually in here here's config here's the conkey i3 open box and so on so i will not write in your own home folder instead i'll update the scale etc scale and it's up to you to decide um, and to know what you installed on your personal home directory and compare what we provide you and then decide whether you take it or not so that's the way how to proceed that's how you get from 6.2 to 6.3 and if you want to make it official if you've done everything like that there are some files you can change let's have a look where is it again Here it is, lsb-release, open it with Sublime Text again. If you changed everything, you can say, okay, now I have 6.3.1. I've done everything what Eric says, and there you go. We have now 6.3.1. Let's get rid of this here. Uh, is there somewhere a name in here? Here, version 6.2.1. So if we do conkeyzen, and we say okay again it says now version 6.3.1 and there you go no need to reinstall 6.3.1 just some actions you have to undertake and then you have your own 6.3 enjoy linux enjoy arch merch enjoy enjoy 2018 cheers